Um. Okay, so the first problem Ryan pointed out was the front driver's side brakes are seized up. So if you check this out, okay Ryan, go ahead and get in the car. Okay, Billy, can you uh, see this? Okay, watch. This piston is going to come out. This one's seized up. So you got Ryan, go ahead and uh, press on the brakes. All right, see that? So go ahead and a little bit more. That's all I got. That's all he's got. All right, so one piston came out. The other one is locked in place. So this, we got a problem. This is where I think we need to get him a GoPro or something. Yeah. Well, it's Phil. Let's get a bigger yeah, you hammer. See it coming out a little bit. Go ahead and hit the brakes again, Brian. I'm still on him. He's on him. That's yeah. why they're coming off. Off? This one. You want him off of it? This one's seized up. Yeah, go ahead. Release. Okay. a little bit. It's a bit hard to get in here, but I think we can do this. Hit it again, Ryan. Nope. Alright. So, there's the, what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to probably place this caliper. Do you have another caliper? Nope. Good JWC. thing for JWC Motorsports, the auto parts store is not too far away. We got caliper rebuild kit, however, for this, it's a little bit more than what we got to get done without the shop. I guess, yeah. Yeah, caliper rebuild, so, again could rebuild the caliper but not being able to get this one out I don't have compressed air okay? it's mm -hmm. not coming out under when you compress it anyway so if I try to press it in yeah, you can come in see best way to see is to hold the phone are you trying to pawn the phone off <laughs> I need a hell of a lot more sunscreen than what I got on this oh, all weekend. Oh, I got some of that too. Oh, I got some too. We got like four bottles with us. What fancy schmancy tool are you using? This is a SunX kit. Nine thirty eighteen piece brake caliper set works to press in the calipers. It's designed to work with a rear caliper. It has to, as the piston comes out, it turns. So in order to get it pressed back in, you have to spin it, twist it back in. But it also works to press in standard calipers. But this thing is a booger. It's not moving in either direction. So, so what are we replacing the entire that whole piece? What we're going to do is end up doing is replacing the entire caliper. Unit. Okay. So, are we going to pause it and go get the parts, or what? Yep. Do you have any parting comments? Are you going to keep your language clean? Hopefully not. Well, uh, YouTube, you know how this goes. Thanks for watching. We'll be back. All right.
Step one, get it off the ground. Okay, this is what we're looking at for the front. New strut we'll have in here. Rotors, caliper rebuild, new pads, bleed those brakes. Sorry about the lighting, it is what it is. Low light, low light conditions. Back brakes, strut, be reusing the springs. Oh yeah, we got new in links as well. So, take, take a look at those. A little crusty, not too bad. Not like Eric out in the uh, New York or over here in Washington State. Oh, the other side. Overall, not too bad. It's not looking too crusty, not looking too rough. That's what I like about it here in the West. There's the new caliper we put on yesterday. That was just a quick job to get it back on the road. Uh, it felt it said it felt a little spongy. wasn't quite as happy as I would like, but I felt it was safe to get out on the road to drive about uh, 40 miles or so down here. So, but we got a new hubs to pull out. New hubs to put in. Our old hubs pull out, new hubs been in. Be using the grappler on that. Power washed up here. Looks a little bit better than it did. But gotta get down in there. Had a knock sensor, kind of twing it out. See what we can do to fix this radiator as well. Put it back in the mounts properly. So, alright.